Today's Tuesday tax tip has to do with itemized medical expenses. In order to deduct itemized medical expenses, the medical expenses themselves must exceed 10% of your adjusted gross income. For senior citizens, this figure is 7.5%. So if you're under 65 years of age and your adjusted gross income is $100,000, you cannot start deducting medical expenses until they exceed $10,000 as an itemized deduction. Now, some expenses that are medical expenses or qualified medical expenses that you may not have realized are the following. Air conditioning, when it's used to relieve uh, a condition such as allergies or some other respiratory uh, ailment. Abortion, if it's legal abortion. Alcoholism treatment, including transportation costs to AA meetings breast pumps, breast reconstruction surgery after a mastectomy, um, childbirth prep classes uh, for such as Lamaze that actually prepare um, the woman for the actual childbirth, not just classes, the classes that prepare you just um, as to what to expect during pregnancy or childbirth are not considered deductible. Uh, cosmetic surgery if it is used to correct a deformity, a congenital deformity, um, abnormality, uh, or, or something that occurred from an accident or disease. Nothing that's done just for general cosmetic purposes such as um, hair transplant or liposuction or something of that nature. Special food um, if prescribed by a doctor. If for instance you're on a gluten-free diet you're allowed to, to take as a medical expense the excess cost of the gluten-free diet over a regular diet. Exercise program, if prescribed by a physician for a specific condition, you can never deduct health club memberships or anything just as a general health benefit. If, for instance, you had shoulder surgery and you had to pay for rehab of that shoulder, that would be considered tax deductible. Insurance premiums would be tax deductible. Um, smoking cessation programs would be tax deductible. And this list that I'm providing here is just a portion of the many items that may be deductible for medical expenses. If you have some expenses that you're not really sure of, I would certainly advise you to um, talk to a tax professional because uh, there may be some deductions out there for you and you certainly want to make sure you take full advantage of them. Hope this tip helps you out. See you again next week.